Reporter the guy on the bike. Special shout out to our viewers in Los Angeles, Edinburgh, Scotland, and Copenhagen. We're gonna scoot into the Temple on Gallery and take a look at an exhibition. Stay tuned. Oda Jean, is that how it's pronounced? Oda Jean. Misunderstanding. At least the, the upstairs part. We'll start out here. I don't have a title for this, and uh, I've been spending a lot of time scrolling through the the online catalog and I couldn't find it. I would just say this is, I believe these are oil on canvas and this is about uh, 12 by 10 inches. This is M like man eater. This is oil on canvas, 67 by 47 and a quarter. Well, there is a, an extraordinary amount of work in the show, so maybe we won't get the, the titles of everything. Uh, I didn't know what to expect. I uh, walked in, I saw the, the initial large paintings and was impressed. Untitled, 18 by 28 inches. Unframed, it's 12 by 17 inches. And the frame was chosen by the artist. Actually, this made me think of a Gerhard Richter painting. Okay, here is the uh, showstopper. This is titled M Like Mother. It's 83 and three quarters by 207 inches. Well, I would say that Oda is a very good technician. She's able to get all these interesting details, kind of melding figurative things. So we've got uh, kind of a torso holding a baby. Torso fades into a hand and wings. Uh, I was actually thinking this makes me think a little bit of uh, 
Dorothea Tanner, who was a, uh, I guess an American surrealist, but she did a lot of imagery dealing with figures in a kind of surrealistic way. A lot of them were female figures. I think she was Max Ernst's mistress that uh, got him to leave Peggy Guggenheim. And I think they might have lived out in Taos, New Mexico for a while. It's titled G Like Girl. Twenty-five by twenty in frame. So I'm gonna say that uh, I have a little probably different take on this in that, uh, well, I became a grandfather on Valentine's Day, so uh, got some people in California with a little baby girl. F like flame. Unframed. 67 by 47 and a quarter. Well, Oda does a pretty good job of capturing the, the flames. I was also thinking that uh, it said in the press release that she's one of the most enigmatic painters in, on the European art scene. And, uh, and that these images are dealing with kind of like the current surrealistic vision of womanhood. It's titled M for Milk. And I think one of the things I appreciate about the work is that um, there's always a kind of a twist. So we've got our lactating breast, but then we've got this hair, I guess you would consider that chest hair, uh, but that's pretty prolific. Kind of a contrast, uh, masculine versus feminine. This is be like bitch. Forty-seven by sixty-seven. Well, okay. I was kind of looking at this and just appreciating it as a straight uh, nude. And then, as I started to look at the uh, the puppies, I was thinking of some of the. Uh, kitsch paintings that people have been talking about and this kind of made me think of the uh, poker playing dogs and uh, well of course the I guess they're all bitches but uh, it does a pretty good job of uh, rendering her dogs And, uh, yeah, if you just look at the way the uh, brush strokes are slid on there, you realize that uh, what is a pretty, pretty good uh, brush worker. Okay, I like the, the alphabet we're going through here. So this is B, and guess what B stands for? Actually, I think there is some, I was talking about the kind of the poignant twists. So I've got the, uh, the plastic Barbie that's got this kind of exaggerated female figure that no actual human being could ever have anything like that. But yet it's, it's got this 
mature female figure here. I was kind of looking at this and thinking of Joan Semmel. So we've got our wrinkly elbows, the kind of uh, big distorted feet. And that's all contrasted against the, the big plastic Barbie. This is another uh, interesting piece. It's a little larger than most of these. E as in Eve. Well, <clears throat> let the cop cars drive by. I think just as a uh, figure study, this little girl on the lap of whatever that is. Okay, so we've got big lips, nose. And the snake looks like a white python is nice. And then we've got this kind of an androgynous looking male torso. And I guess this is interesting because you could compare this to some of the other Adam and Eve paintings, some of the classics like the Albert Dürer. I think maybe Rembrandt did a version. Let's see, maybe even more shocking because it involves children. <laughs> See, like this piece is kind of funny. T is in tender. Also thinking that some of the smaller work, you really get a chance to see the uh, the detail work. It says in the press release that uh, this is her first solo exhibition in the United States. The rare, uncanny. Oda Wan, Oda Wan, unveils a challenging exhibition in New York, Misunderstand, offers a series of nearly 25 new oil paintings and watercolors. Oda Wan, Bulgarian in origin and trained in Germany, has for nearly 15 years been among the most intriguing figures on the European art scene. Poetic, sensual, and expressive, her paintings ignite conversation and explore explores without inhibition the depths of femininity today. Okay, I like this. G like Gorilla Girl. We went to a Joyce Kozlov show a couple of weeks ago and I was <coughs> passing on a rumor that Joyce was one of the Gorilla Girls. Uh, it's actually nice well-painted gorillas. Although, are they gorillas? Are they orangutans? Chimps? Oh, there's a lot of references here. I like the, the thigh bone. Makes me think of the opening scene of 2001 A Space Odyssey. And, uh, okay, so we've always got the uh, self-referential thing with the palette and the glops of paint on there. Forty-seven by sixty-seven, and uh, one thing: if Odo was training in Germany, she's probably very familiar with Neil Rausch and Rosa Loy and all those people from the Leipzig school. And uh, well, when I was over in Germany. In the mid-70s, there was a school. Well, there were a couple of schools. There was capitalist realism, and then there was another one called critical realism, which one of my friends was 
involved in founding. This is a tea-like thinker. Something that Oda does a great job of painting these veils. Kind of gossamer fabric. And uh, yes, this back of a woman makes me think of an Aang's Odalesque. This A-like angel. Sixty-seven by forty-seven. Oh, I appreciate the more pared-down palette here. We just basically just dealing with almost black and white. I also like this you know, spiraling serpentine form that comes up and enters the crotch. I was actually thinking that uh, this whole suite here Kind of makes me think of Paul Cadmus's, was it The Seven Sins? Something like that. Okay, this is V Like Virgin, 67 by 47. I wonder if she was influenced by the Madonna song. A like apple. Hey, hold it, we've already had an A. We had an A for angel, an A for apple. Nicely painted hand, and uh, oh, you can see where she did some uh, some corrections there. Made the little top of the cell phone a little smaller. If like fatty. 67 by 47. Okay, so if I was I was talking about the Paul Cadmus seven cents, this would be gluttony. Okay, so I got a little dimpled thighs. I got the skinny body coming into the fatty legs. I'm also going to say that uh, this makes me think a lot of some of the real Coco painters, strangely. Boucher, Watteau. I'm going to run through downstairs. Okay, so we've got another 
tricky picture of a candle. Well, there is a lot of work here. I would say there's probably at least 30 pieces, so I'm not gonna give you the titles. We'll just scan down the walls. These are all watercolor, and I would estimate that they're probably about 16 by 12 inches. Some of them you can see ideas or characters from some of the other paintings that uh, she kind of fleshed out in the larger work. But you can see that she's got a lot of a lot of ideas she's playing with. I think the other thing I like is this is on uh, looks like some kind of beige paper. So there's a little baby being delivered from a puppy. There's a lot of other, uh, at least a lot of um, these pieces where what is concentrating on the the eyes. Okay, now we've got an extra treat here. We're gonna walk into an installation. And I was listening to someone chatting upstairs saying that um, it's actually a performance that goes along with this. And I guess that the the chairs are sculpture. Kind of a uh, twist on the chairs and clockwork orange. So we got some kind of a video thing going here. Oh, we've got a whole suite of eyes. And the <laughs> stained bed sheets. Okay, that's interesting. I don't think those would be very comfortable to sit on. So this has been James Com reporting on 
What is Jean? Misunderstanding? Great Tampon Gallery, 10th Avenue and 27th Street? You can like this, share, link it up to all your social media sites, and you can leave your thoughts, ideas, comments, criticisms, and reviews below, and suggestions, and you can subscribe, as long as you say, thank you, Kate. He never shines so brightly. Oh, thank you.